Hello and welcome. This is going to be a tormented demons guide for Iron Man. And this is my inventory and setup. The one thing I would like to everyone to, to realize is uh, they are weak to stab. So if you have your arc light on stab, which you should always be using an arc light or the new arc light on it. Um, tormented demons, I do have a task right now. So that will make it a little bit easier. Greater demons. And we're just going to be, you know, potting up and... And killing I'm gonna kind of do a couple kills and uh, that'll be it but uh, I just want to show I do a four-way switch like this very simple and we're gonna to have to hop to find a world probably this guy did just say he had one more so we'll uh, wait and see on that but yeah these are very simple you do require two attack styles slayer task makes it easier and uh, my stats are not very high so the fact that you can do this on an Iron Man relatively simple as long as you can you know, move and change your prayers it's, it's not too bad. I think this guy was done after this one so we're gonna go ahead and go in and thanks man. There we go. Always pray mage to start is what I do. Try to spec it immediately. Mailing me, okay. There's a really simple method you can do to avoid a lot of damage. And when you're both mailing, it's whatever. But when you are. Mess that up. When you're both uh, doing a range to combat style, you can take almost no damage from stepping in the right direction and just changing your prayer style. It's very simple. Um, definitely not overly complicated. But if you make a mistake, you will take a considerable damage. So, so right here, I think it's going to switch to mage. I'll try that. That was correct. That's nice. Now I'm standing away from it like this. And if he does it again, I'll just go to prey range. And if he walks towards me, I'll go to prey melee. It's very simple. Well, I have to change back to here. But there are a few mechanics I'm not talking about in this fight. And one of those mechanics is if you use a Derox Axe or actually an even slower weapon, anything that's very, very slow helps a lot. So, uh, and that's when the shield goes down. So after he does the special attack, the shield goes down, and you can use either your um, bring crossbow heavy bolts or your. Right there, I played range because I got You can use your range heavy bolts or you can use a slow crush weapon. And it does considerably bigger hits when he does a special attack. So that is one really nice thing. So. There you have it. The gear is not insane. I'm using a fighter torso. Uh, I didn't eat at all, which is nice. Uh, I'm actually going to drop a couple food here, bring up these mana rays. But this is not a terribly hard thing to kill. I think people are overcomplicating it a little bit, and probably some Iron Men are a little bit scared to do it, but it's not that hard. So, yeah, I'm going to do one more kill, and that'll be it, but, uh, yeah, very, very simple. And you can prayer flick, you can do all kinds of things to make yourself do a little bit more DPS, but, um... If you don't want to overcomplicate it, you can just camp your prayers and use a little extra prayer potions, but it's not too bad at all. Yeah, I kind of knew he was going mage there because of the, he didn't walk towards me. Actually, walk. Oh, that was weird. Alright, there you have it. Very simple, not too hard. 
And uh, yeah, that, that's how I do it, so.